Um, I just want to say that um, I was in a very emotional state when my daughter, before my daughter came into Integrity House. Um, for years, I had tried to fix her myself in a lot of secular places, a lot of um, trying to do everything on my own uh, without the Lord. And um, I finally one night surrendered everything to him. I put my hands up in the air and said, Lord, I can't do this anymore. I broke down in tears and said, I take my hands off and I put your hands on. And so that's where I was at um, when she came in. Uh, emotionally, um, at that point, <clears throat> I was pretty much shipwrecked and um, I had a lot of confusion. My heart was toward my daughter, but my daughter had been so disconnected for so many years and it was kind of a touch and go. And there was even one point in my walk that I didn't know if I would hear from her, at least alive. And because we lived up north in Michigan, um, I waited in the back of my mind subconsciously for a, a phone call, maybe to come and identify her body because I knew she was that far off track. And like Michelle said, we had tried so many different programs. We even had a specialist a doctor that evaluated her, spent two days evaluating her and sat down with all of us and said they didn't um, that she was unable to be able to tell the difference between fact and fiction and uh, that she was to stay really, really close to her mom and dad in all her decisions and that lasted maybe three days and then she was kind of off and running. So uh, whenever I saw glimpses of her or was in contact with her, I knew that it could be the very last time. So emotionally, uh, we were a mess. The changes that I've seen in her <clears throat> since we gave her over to the Lord is um, total restoration, deliverance, healing, uh, the spirit, uh, the gifts of the spirit coming forth in her. I see uh, hope. Um, just we went into battle in prayer. I mean, I just I mean, it's amazing the things that we've seen. She's totally getting restored. I mean, it's a constant walk with the Lord, and we have to be adjusted or whatever, but um, she's a miracle, is what I see. God's hand is on her. Amen. Um, uh, several years ago, um, I think, I believe what happened was Michelle and I got a word of restoration coming to our, us and our family, which included all three of our daughters, Christina being our eldest. And um, anyway, we went into battle. I mean full-fledged battle. We just started getting really, really close with the Lord in prayer and fasting. And um, we, it took us a couple years before we came down here to Florida. But once we got down here, we were in contact with her. We were, we were amazed at what the Lord was doing in her life. And uh, she'd been in a lot of different institutions and she'd been on a lot of different medications. And we knew that that wasn't the answer. We knew that somewhere God had a place for her, a home that she could tie into and get what she needed uh, psychologically, mentally, emotionally, and most of all spiritually, and she got delivered. And it's almost, she's so different. And there's so much joy in our lives when we get around her. Integrity House is special to me because I see the heart of God in the leaders in the pastor and not only that the freedom that the pastor's given each and every one of us here to go out and do what god's calling us to do it's not a control thing it's it's go go do what the holy spirit's telling you to do yeah i would have to agree with michelle on that um the thing is about integrity house and and, and christina's been in um others but I think with this one, she was she was prepared, she was ready, she had come to the end of herself. But coming in here was just, um, it was different. There was just a love and the transparency was phenomenal. And one of the things that really spoke to me the most is um, the messages was coming out of people's lives that had actually walked where she had walked, had been involved in, whether it was alcoholism, um, the, the sex trade, whether it was in um, medication and drugs, but they practiced what they preached. And there was a genuine concern that we do care about you. 
because I remember when I first connected with Rob, um, it was probably two months before we even started moving forward, but he took time out of his schedule to sit down with me and he listened to me and he said, listen, we're here to help you in whatever way that you need it, just let us know. And it was about a two month process. So it has made a huge difference. We feel at home here and we're excited about the future. The Lord is moving in this place <clears throat> and um, come and experience the Holy Spirit. The Lord is here. He's moving, his hand is moving. Come and experience what we've experienced. Yeah, I would have to definitely say if you're, if you're done, if you're tired, if enough's enough and you're willing to make a strong commitment to the Lord, because it's gonna be the Lord and it's gonna be the hand of God. And if you're serious about that, not being a one foot in and one foot out, but completely sold out, yeah, you may slip and you may fall and they're gracious enough to pick you back up and move you in the right direction. And um, if you humble yourself and you're hungry, God will meet you. And that is what we've seen in a lot of the people here, in a lot of the men, and a lot of the women here. So we're just uh, proud to be associated with and proud to be a part of. Thank you.